In 1958, Chinese Communist Party leader Mao Zedong held a speech in front of the annual party conference, stating, The first emperor of the Qing only buried 460 Confucianist clerics alive, while we got 46,000. Based. Xi Jinping nowadays could not be further away from Mao when it comes to his attitude towards the godfather of Chinese philosophy. But who was Confucius? And what does he have to do with degens making big cheddar of Chinese slave labor? He was a man from humble origins, born around 551 Big C, who due to his childhood trauma of mommy and daddy dying early, decided to educate kids from all backgrounds for free. About what, you might ask? Well, everything. From how to properly greet and treat folks around you, to cracking wisdoms about men with one chopstick going hungry. So how does Xi Jinping combine Chinese socialist ideals, which previously hated any and all intellectualism, with Confucius? Simply put, he turns Confucius into a socialist and avoids the hot areas of disagreement. For example, my boy once said, What worries us is not that the people get too little, but that it's unequally distributed, leading to unease and unrest. The takeaway for anyone else would have been that my man wants to preserve stability, but according to Xi Jinping, that's basically Marx calling upon the illiterate to behead their kings. Another key takeaway from our dumpling Plato is that he insists on respecting authority to preserve harmony, drawing parallel between the state and its citizens to a father and his children, which kind of makes sense if your dad died before he could ever spank you real good. No idea why a one-party dictatorship would ever want to propagate such values. And this is where our stonks come through the front door, and if we're not careful enough, get locked in the basement like bad children, or buried alive Mao style. Daddy Chi and old man Confucius don't care if you are a 17-year-old who illegally opened a Robinhood account, playing around with options on Geely stock, or Jack Ma, a billionaire with monkey brain. All of us, as shareholders in Chinese companies, are just like their CEOs, expected to serve the Chinese state, as a child is to its abusive parents. There are no rules or laws protecting you and your investment from now on. When Daddy Xi says the party is over, it is truly over. Good luck.